Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Maurice Take. I just want to say thank you to everyone that went on TikTok and lash out or allow people to know that Haitian people are not lazy people. I have to start by John Legend, by Steph Curry, and um, there was a guy from Midas Touch. Is it Pop Pop? It's P O P O T. O P O P O K. Today I watched one episode where he said he used to be a lawyer in Miami for 20 something years. He's used to the Haitian community and the Haitian people are hardworking people. I am a Haitian young lady. I work so hard, boss my ass to make sure my kids are well taken care of. And I want to say thank you. I've been watching so many different group of people background that are giving it to the Haitian community. Let people know even the former president, Donald Trump and J.D. Vance and stupid Laura Loomer saying and spreading false rumors about Haitian eating pets in Springfield, Ohio. It is not true. I am so thankful to all those people. Even the Miami Heat put a statement out that that needs to stop. We don't need that kind of violence. We don't need that kind of chaos in our community, period. Now, let's go with this guy named Nick Johnson that went to Springfield, uh, Springfield Ohio to interview a few people. And those people, when I look at them, they are bitter. They are angry. Because they see those Haitian people just got there about two to three years ago. And they are doing well for themselves. Well, let me tell you something. You cannot hate somebody who came from somewhere where they give them an opportunity and they grab it. That's what we do. We grab it and we run with it. And all those people that Nick Johnson interviewed are people that are... Please forgive me on that. Older, white, racist, sexist. Not only that, those people don't look like they have a job. So, of course, they are angry. While Nick Johnson was interviewing the lady, she had a, a, a T-shirt on uh, that had champion on it. And a tall guy there explaining there was a guy that drove a Lexus that cost $110,000. Of course, he's going to drive that kind of car because he worked hard for it. And what people don't understand, Haitian are educated. When we come here, we don't come here to be wasting time begging for food stamp. No, we get our ass up early in the morning, nighttime. We work hard. We work hard to achieve the American dream. So while they were interviewing the guy, he said, oh, there he is with his truck, $110,000 Lexus. Bitch, what the fuck? You were born here. Why don't you have one? Because you're a lazy ass. Get ducked up. Don't get up to go to work. Get drug drugged up. Don't care for a job. Then you ended up having to wait for government's little handout. And us, when we come here, we work hard. We work hard for what we have. And I heard they complaining was... Yeah, we wish they can all go somewhere else. We don't want them here in Springfield, Ohio. And then they were saying, oh, they paying their houses for cash. They don't know how many people live in the house. There's so many people there. Like, why do you care? Like, Tim Wall say, mind your business. It's not your business. We work hard. They even say, okay, they appreciate, we're talking about, the employer, they appreciate the group of the Haitian that came to Hawaii, Springfield, Hawaii, because those people are hardworking people. They go to work on time. They leave late. They do their job. They, they, they appreciate getting a job. And when you see these lazy ass idiots, they're racist. Not trying to get a job, not trying to do something to achieve something, and they see somebody come out of a third world country, they call it stupid Don Jr. said. When you see those people coming and appreciate the opportunity America offer us, we go at it hardcore a hundred percent. And that's why some people are hating on us. We don't come here to play. 
into Don Jr. that said, oh, when people from a third world country come here, they're going to bring third world problem. Man, I don't even think former President Donald Trump is your dad. You look nothing like him. I don't know what the hell is wrong with your brain. Of course, you are a racist one, just like your supposedly father. It's unfortunate. You come from your father. He's a racist and sexist, and you sound just like him. Yeah, I have problem with Haitian because you guys know Haitian not only going to be there, they are going to make progress. They are going to have kids. Those kids going to be fucking citizen. They are going to vote. And you know damn well who they're going to vote for. Not for the party who makes no sense. They are going to vote for a party who has some common sense, which is the Democratic Party. So you guys are afraid you might never, ever be in power again. So that stress the fuck out of y'all. Again, to all those people that are giving the Haitian community what they deserve, praise, hardworking, and everything else, we appreciate that. To Nick Johnson, that was trying to interview those Haitian people from the church, I'm glad they did not allow you to interview them because you have a bias in you. You stick to those idiots there that was trashing the Haitian people, that was complaining. You did not try to find another group of Haitian people that can speak. And why didn't you have a translator with you, you stupid? How, how are you going to go there not trying to have a Haitian person with you that can translate, that, that can make them feel like it's okay to speak your mind? It's okay. You by yourself trying to speak English with them, you think they're going to try to give you the little English they have? Get out of here, you dumbass. What is your problem? You sound racist too. You want to know about Haitian people? You talk to Haitian people in their own language. They're not going to trust you to talk to you. So I'm glad they didn't talk to you. Because you focus in one group of ignorant, broke, and racist people that was there lying. You know the lady was lying her ass off saying two guys was in a little van was trying to kidnap her. She has her daughter go run behind the garbage can. Man, you a liar. You are a fucking liar. And I hate when people lie, you know? They just lie, 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 lie. Just like former President Donald Trump. And why people keep on calling Trump President Trump as if he's still in power? This man was the former president by mistake. Create a lot of chaos. And I can't believe the polls are still tight with all the chaos, with all the bull crap this man has coming out of his mouth. How can somebody willing to vote for this guy? And I am hoping, Lord, listen to this. I am hoping no Haitian in Miami, Florida, or any area lose their effing mind, vote for this former president because he disrespect us not once, twice, three. He called Haiti a shithole country. Don't forget the shit. He said Haiti bring AIDS here in the 90s. Now he's saying Haiti, Haitian, eating dogs and cats and geese. Do you see where you're going to put your vote? For somebody who gives no effing, oh, fuck, I swear, I hate when Haitian don't listen. Because I know a few, I know a few that's still going to vote for this former president. Even though he said all the shit he said about Haitian people, we still have some ignorant piece of shit Haitian that are going to vote for this guy. Shame on you. I'm telling you this right now. Shame on you because I know I know a few that said, uh, the economy was better under former President Donald Trump. He's going to be good for crypto. Give me a fucking break. The guy don't even fucking know what is crypto. <laughs> and he just launched a crypto. How the hell? He, does, he cannot even explain what is it. He launched it and people are saying under him it's going to be more money. No, he's a crook. I am for crypto. I invest in crypto. I love crypto. But the minute I hear this man launch a crypto, I'm having a, a second doubt because I know whatever he does is a scam. So people might not trust crypto now because he gets into it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ah, oh, God, I hate this. To all the Haitian people, especially here in South Florida, Palm Beach, think about it. When you're going to vote, you better make sure you know who you vote for. Because this man don't deserve your vote. He disrespect one group of Haitian people. He disrespect all of us. Whether you are a citizen, whether you are a resident, whether you are legal, illegal. Remember, when you vote for this man, you vote in the name of disrespect. 
that he caused our country shithole country he called our people eating dogs and cats and he said that we bring hiv here in america don't forget this shit when you cast your vote for this man you piece of crap i know some of y'all going to vote for him shame on you subscribe thank you for watching